It's degrading the grid. The headline, AI needs so much power, it's making yours worse. Uh, it, what, what people don't realize is that, you know, the, the, the AI data centers are distorting. Now, Richard, you're going to have to explain this because you're the, you're the autodidact. They're distorting the normal flow of electricity. And so there's a map that says, that shows you where there is brownouts in effect from these AIs, which cause damage to home appliances especially in areas like Chicago and Data Center Alley in Nova, North Virginia, where distorted power readings are way above normal. And it, the, the problem here, and, it, and it, it'll get resolved, is that the data centers aren't reporting their consumption dynamically back to the power system because their consumption levels are hard to measure. They're not like regular humans. They well, and also we have a dumb grid, right? They, they've talked for years about making a smart grid. The grid's getting smarter, but major power consumers like... Uh, an aluminum smelter is a great example of this massive consumer of electricity, and they actually converse with the power company before they crank up the inductors for exactly that reason. It's hundreds of megawatts and you'll knock the grid over yeah. and here. You've got these data centers in neighborhoods and their consumption behavior is unusual. It's it's kind of symmetrical, but it does has its own peaks. It was the same all the time. It wouldn't be a problem, but it's not.